Hello everyone. In this class, we are going to see traversing a list. We can traverse the list using both the loops, for loop as well as while loop. Let us check how to use for loop first. Let me have an example list here called num. Hope you all know how to write the for loop. For i in num. Here num is the sequence. So in this case i becomes each individual element every time it runs. So first it becomes 10 then 20 like that it keeps going until the last element. So if the sequence elements are not available then the for loop will terminate. For example statement I have here something to add with each element as it is integer. I give print i plus 5. So it takes 10 and then it adds with 5 and prints as 50. Similar way it will do for all the elements. We can also write in other way for i in range we can give. If we are giving range then it can be from 0 to the last index. So if we are taking the length of the list then it will be one more than the last index right by default it starts from 0 and then ends at 1 lesser than the length that is the last index in this case i is the integer number which starts from 0 that is index number the index number also starts from 0 in a list instead of i we will be writing num of i so print num of i plus 5 so let us check how the output is going to be. So in the first for loop i is directly 10 we add with that in the second for loop num of i which is num of 0 which is 10. So 10 plus 5. So both the places it happens the same thing the output will be 15. Similar way when the for loop runs for the second time i becomes 20 in the second loop i of 1 it becomes 20. So now again it adds with 5. So it will be 25. Similar way when it runs for third time i becomes 30 or num of 2 becomes the third term which is 30. So it again adds 5 and gives the answer as 35. Similar way it will be doing for each and every element. When there is no element the for loop stops. In the second one, the index number of 60 is 5, the length of this is 6, 6 means it runs 0 to 5. So exactly it stops at 60. Let us check how the while loop will be working. Here there is no loop variable. So before mentioning the loop, I will initiate one variable which is having 0 as its value in the beginning, num which is the list and then while ind is lesser than len of number. I will be increasing this index number every time by 1. So when it reaches the len of num, it will stop. So that is the reason I have given lesser than. Now I will have to write the statement whatever I need to do that is the statement which is in the second for loop I can give here num of ind plus 5 ind has to be increased after this execution. So every time the while loop runs index is being increased let us execute in the python so we are very clear about this let me create a list li is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I will give a for loop for i in li. See directly i will become each element here print i plus 100. Let me save and execute this. You could see the output. Now in case I have range 
instead i becomes each element it takes the range value now i am giving here len of li in this case li of i it is not mandatory that we always give length of the list if we need to read the partial list we can also give the start and stop accordingly whatever is required if i want to read only the second half of the list i can also do this len of li divided by 2 see now divided by 2 will give the float number in case if it is 5 then becomes 2.5 so we will do the floor division then up to the end of the list right so then again we can give len of li so whatever the length it will be reading the second half see there however one element will be extra if it is odd number of elements if it is even number of elements it is going to be exactly half let us check so it is exactly half if we need to read alternate elements then we can go with 0 comma len of li comma the step as to so it reads first third fifth like that it will be reading let us check so it is our choice however we need to traverse in the list we can give the loop let us execute while loop so for that we need to create the variable which i give here as ind initially it is zero so instead of this for loop i will be writing while ind lesser than len of li now i will be increasing the ind by 1 every time the while loop runs so ind plus equal to 1 the same program in while loop here instead of i we supposed to give ind that was the error let us do now so you could see the output here hope traversing a list is clear for you in future i will be giving plenty of programs that is after completing the sequences So please keep watching my channel keep sharing to to your friends thank you